Joining us is the Phoenix Fall 58-54. Coach, once again, the Phoenix with a great effort this evening in the first half to come from four down to up five, courtesy of some timely long range shoot. Tonight, um, playing hard wasn't good enough to get us a victory. Um, we did play hard, and we've consistently done that for a while now. And uh, in many ways tonight, we played well enough defensively to win the game. Um, we, we Several times we needed some buckets that could have evened it up or maybe even taken the lead in the second half. Uh, we didn't capitalize there. And then down the stretch, we just did not get enough rebounds um, in the second half, last 10 minutes. And uh, as a result, you see numbers that jump off the page at you, uh, 15 offensive rebounds by them. Uh, that hurt. And, um, and then uh, obviously we missed too many free throws. That could have kept us in the game. But we played hard. and. Um, We've come a long way. We're starting to do some things basketball IQ wise better, but playing hard wasn't quite good enough today. Yeah, to kind of show you, you're shooting 37% from the field in this game. You're being almost out rebounded by, by 20, but you're still in the game of a chance to win this game. Does that show the vast improvement that you've made over the last year? In the locker room, we have street fighters. Um, we have guys that don't give up. Um, I said to them after the game, and, and this is as true tonight as it's ever been. Uh, we could have thrown in the towel six weeks ago. And uh, the adversity we faced up until the middle of January, um, even you look back to our experience in Boone the first time we played them, and uh, boy, we got punched in the face a lot, got knocked to the mat. But our guys don't quit. Uh, an Elon man is, a, is tough, and uh, an Elon man is resilient, and, um, and an Elon man is a street fighter. And uh, that is true with the guys in our locker room right now. And um, we're, we're very pleased with the way we continue to battle and compete. Uh, we want more, though. We want to we come through with a victory. Mountaineers came in averaging 76 points per game. Your defense holds them to 58 points all the night. Coach is moving 20% from the um, Played well enough in many ways defensively to win. We did a great job, contested many of their shots. Um, we just uh, wish we could have come down with some of those rebounds when we, when we got the stops. And uh, when you hold a, a they're, they're explosive offensively, when you hold them to 37% from the floor and 20%, they're at three for 15 from three, and they, they got uh, quite a few guys that can shoot a three. We defended well enough. Um, we need to do a little bit more. It doesn't take much. There's a slight margin of error. But if we can uh, cross that gap, you know, that slight margin, then we come out with a win tonight. You know, against three of the top teams in this conference, in the last several weeks, you've lost to Charleston by two, you've lost to Western by two, you come in here and lose to App State by four. Is this team getting closer to being tournament ready to make some noise down in Charlotte? We are getting closer to being tournament ready, and, and, and we vividly remember uh, that, that we were picked to finish last in this league. We were disrespected at the beginning of the season with the preseason prognostications, and, and our guys uh, vividly remember that. And uh, we realized that those uh, predictions looked very, very true in November, and uh, true in December, and, and even true into January. But uh, we're an improved ball club. We're, we are an improved defensive team in particular. And um, if we can uh, take another step uh, between now and uh, when we get to show up for the conference tournament, then. Uh, we could be a dangerous team in the tournament. Coach, you've, you have always said that the midnight rule is in effect. The Phoenix now will move the focus to Georgia Southern and Statesboro on Thursday night. Um, we, we waller, we worry, we fret, uh, we worry about this one and, uh, till midnight. And then we're going to give them tomorrow off. They're going to get their legs back. And then we will study film uh, Wednesday. And our complete focus will be on our Thursday matchup down in Statesboro. Coach, thank you. Taylor, great, good to be with you.